with the requisite knowledge needed in the performance of their duties at their various workstations. It also served as a preparatory course meant to enable officers to perform as expected when they get sent to do their staff courses. Officers are leaders in their various formations, and as such, they are expected to engage in continuous learning at, at individual and institutional level. This was reaffirmed by John F. Kennedy, who once said, and I quote, leadership and learning are indispensable to each other, unquote. Lessons covered during the course included operational staff work, the estimate process, orders process, international humanitarian law, human resource management, just to name a few. The main focus of the training was service writing. Officers were systematically taken through the key chapters of the updated Joint Service Writing Manual, commonly referred to as the Bible. As we gather here today for the closing ceremony of the Pre-Junior Division course, I extend my heartfelt gratitude on behalf of my colleagues. The success of this program owes to the great deal of the dedication of our instructors. Our heartfelt gratitude goes to the staff officers from the Economic Mission, who generously share their expertise in staff duties. The Economic's contribution to this course significantly enhanced the capacity building of the Gambia Armed Forces officers, aligning with our reform goals and also strengthening our relationship with the Economic Forces. We also want to extend our gratitude to the Gambia Armed Forces officers, who also provided a wide range of insightful lectures. Collaboration with civilian lectures from the University of the Gambia, the ICRC, the State Intelligence Service, the National Security Office and other organizations added depth and diversity to the training, embodying commitment to a holistic approach of capacity building. We might have come from different countries, even though we're in ECOMIC. ECOMIC is for ECOWAS. And Gambia is also a member of what? Uh, ECOWAS. The only way we can work together seamlessly is for us to train together in peace before the crisis comes. If we don't train together, whenever they bring us together to work, it will be very, very uh, difficult. And for me, that is the reason why I feel it's an opportunity for us to exchange ideas, not because we are better than you. I want to salute the contribution of the participants. They really did well. Um, you see the zeal with which all of them were ready to learn, despite the short period of time that we have. So my advice to you is build, you have the foundation. We all know how important training is, particularly in the military. So many commanders who attended middle wars have observed the importance of training before you are launched into any activity. I think uh, Sun Tzu see it as war without blood, as training, and war is training without blood. So it is very important to embark on routine training, particularly during uh, this time. The new chief of defense staff has said it categorically clear that it's not going to be business as usual. During his handing and taking over address, he mentioned something like that. He even said that his administration is going to anchor on three C's. Three C's. That is capacity building, confidence building, and cooperation. That is what he said during his handling and taking over address. Basically, what he means by capacity building is conducting regular training. And this one is part of it. Well, let me first of all congratulate you for going through this uh, important course. It is a foundation that can lead you to success. As officers, you don't have to, although it's important, you can sometimes follow somebody's path that is already clear. But the most important thing is to clear your own path, you know, so that others will be motivated to follow your path. So I, as young officers, I advise you to start clearing your own path so that you leave a trail that your predecessors will be proud to follow. That is going to help you to be creative, to be innovative, and to have initiatives. That is something I want to 
aspas, do Estado do Índio. 